looking at the match programme, nearly all of the Tipperary lads have an All Ireland medal at some level. You know, they've won minors or whatever, and you know, senior some of them. Cork don't have that same level. Is that significant? Yeah, I think it's significant. And like you say, it's you know, when you even look at, at underage medals, there are serious structural problems exist within Cork, and you know, you can talk about whatever you want, but the reality is that. Cork haven't won an under-21 All-Ireland since 1998. The last, they, won, they won two in a row, 1997-1998. In fact, they didn't win an under-21 before that. Um, it was 1988. They haven't won a minor All-Ireland since 2001. All of our colleges are, are, are after losing their strength. Where's the, where's the North Man gone? Where's Colwyn's gone? Where are all these squads? And to be fair to Jimmy and the management, it, you could say that they've been turning wine into water. Because whilst you've got the you mean water into wine? Oh, sorry, water. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Water yeah. into wine, and like because you look at all of the other, uh, you know, teams that are there, they're all winning under underage, and that that matters, and it matters especially when you get to the business <laughs> end of the year. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, if I was a, a a club person down in Cork or one of the supporters that was leaving there today, like I'd be asking, where where are the co coaching structures? They're the facts of the matter. Why haven't we won since then? We went down to Innes a couple of weeks ago and, you know, a lot was made. We were actually embarrassed. Claire in the, 20, in the 21. 21 match, yeah. I can't, I can't remember how many points. It's a very good Claire team now, in fairness. Yeah, but yeah. Des, so has there been exceptional? And that's, that's the propaganda to be put out in the Cork even an Echo on a Monday night. But has every team since 1998 been an exceptional team? I doubt it. And, like, you know, even if you want to look further, Cork are investing 70 million euro in a stadium. A centre of excellence and... A centre of excellence? Well, it's not a centre of excellence. There's two fields there. How could that be a centre of excellence? That will be... If I was a club person, I'd be looking for a review of that. That's going to turn out a centre of mediocrity. And if I was, say, for example, some of the big clubs inside in the, in the city, you know, be it the Bears, the Rockies, the Glen, Castlehaven had a bigger representation than most of those clubs had on the team today. What will that, what will that building do for the performance of young Cork players? I'd seriously question it. I actually think that it's a monument that's been built instead of a centre of excellence. But it, surely it's, it's progress and it's a centre where everyone can come. And previously, I mean, where did the Cork teams train at the moment? Is it yeah, there's, 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 there's two fields there. And like, the Cork that's clubs right. have been sold to pop because they've been sold under this guise of a, of a centre of excellence. How is a centre of excellence? Only got two fields. And you'll have underage no, no, you'll no, have underage every, coaches. You'll have underage coaches around Cork that are looking for to take their squad teams to fields. They have to ring up clubs looking yeah. for, for permission to do it. It's it's the it's the coaching structures. I'll give you another but example. Wait, no, every, every, just every centre of excellence is two fields. It's what you mm. then do yeah, with the two that, fields. Absolutely yeah, not, yeah. this. Yeah. Absolutely not. You need and I'll give you another example. Why is it that we've got only five games development officers in Cork? Dublin have probably over 50. 50, yeah. If I was one of the clubs and I was going into the Cork County Board, I'd be asking that question. And why are we investing 70 million in a monument, like I said? So invested in coaching. Yeah. Yeah, that is the, that is the key. But like you're talking about spending 70 million, we're delighted and too. We've got a hurling ball in Dr. Morris Park. <laughs> right, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah. Like, I mean, you can train anywhere. You're right, the coaches and the structure is the, is the important thing. We can find any field out the place to hit balls around the place, mm. right? We're hoping we might get a 3G pitch and all that. That didn't work out. But, you know, you're right on the structure. Yeah, it's vital. Cork like, pride the, yeah. themselves on being excellent sports people, yeah. mm. be it rugby, be it soccer, be it, you know, Roy Keane, Sanya, Ron Nogar, mm. all of this. Like, two, two pitches as, as your centre of excellence. Who, who are we trying to cut? Mm. All right. I'll argue with you later, but you have to have two pitches in your centre of excellence somewhere. But no, I, told you, I take your point about you, you need, need to have, coaches. You should have 20 pitches. Yeah. Yeah. Cork County Board should have 20 pitches. That's there for all, all, you know, all, all no, the younger teams that are, are, are coming up. You have, you have no land down there. That must yeah. be the no, well, I don't have any land anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you've got, a, yeah. you've got a, fa a fair point there as well, though, from the point of view of University of Limerick facilities. Mm. They're being used an awful lot by a lot of inter-county teams. Mm. Now, there's five, I think, 3G pitches there between yeah. soccer and yeah. rugby and hurling and all, and other counties are moving over there to train on them, so there, you know, there is a point. When Germany there, performed so badly into 2,000 euros, they yeah. looked for a root and branch review of their coaching And they structures. went to the underage, didn't they? Mm. Exactly. Yeah,